you. We thank you, Almighty God, for granting us another day to serve you. Thank you, Lord God, for every special blessing that you have for us today. We surrender ourselves indeed in your hands. And Father, I commit every person here that you circumcise their hearts and ears and that faith that is needed to receive thy word. And Father, I pray also that you will be with the interpreter as well. In Jesus Christ's holy name, Amen. Amen. You may sit. Keep on coming. So I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 To each other. So, if you, I'm John 14 from verse 10. You want to the 14 from verse 14. Believe this or not, that I'm in the Father, and the Father in me. The words that I, the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father which dwelleth in me, He doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask, in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Amen. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Amen. 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 Kuri imwe, 
Ikale muli ine na imwe muli na ine muli imwe. Ito musango te kutu utuale uli neweka. Kano wa ikala mungu angazi. Ito ine na angu ni mwe kano mwa ikala muli ine. Nile muangazi imwe muli misango. Uwa ikala muli ine na ime muli wene. Wene e utuadisha. Icho, icho mbula ine, pe kutimutite kantu iyo. Amen. May the Lord have blessings. Amen. My title is, Umutu wa nukuliwa another book of Acts. Ibu muna nipi, iti anukimo ya batumas. Amen. 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 Now these disciples, Ababa Sambi, in John 14, starting from the first verse, the Master says, Let not your hearts be troubled. He believe in God. He believe also in me. From there, you could tell that these people were troubled. They were worried. The master was leaving them. And all the good things they had enjoyed. The teachings. Yes. The protection. Yes. That assurance. In the midst of the storm. He found the storm. When the legion arose. He froze the, the thousands of devils. Amen. He commanded them. Amen. Authority. Amen. He dealt with all those epileptic demons. Amen. With so much ease. Amen. Amen. Such a one was going away from them. And they were worried, of course. They knew they would be left alone like sheep that have no shepherd. And they, they thought about the persecutions and whatever else. So the master here is calming the church. Yes, I'm leaving. But don't be, don't be so worried. That's so important. In the absence of the Lord physically. If you can't see Jesus this morning physically.
He poured His Spirit upon them. Yes. And the prophet teaches us or taught of the depths of God that was in them. Alright, I'm just read from the entire church age. A bit here and there. Where he was quoting, they have not known the depths of Satan. That age, they have not known the depths of Satan. You know, that should awaken you immediately. This thing has got a balance. There are depths of Satan of God. Prophet says, let us first let us first know what the depth of God is. And the opposite will be true for the depth of Satan. In Ephesians 3, 16 to 19, to read all of it. But it talks about uh, maybe able to comprehend that with all saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, the heights, you know the scripture. Alright, if you want to go read for yourself, it's Acts uh, Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 16, you can read for yourself. Now he continues, uh, now according to these verses, when a man experiences the depth of God in his life, it is an actual personal experience of the Spirit of God in dwelling in him. Personal. It's not collective. No, God can dwell in one and not dwell in the other. It is faith to assume that since you are in the message and you in the message has become like a denomination the message you have to be in Christ and Christ has to be in you Anyone who is in the message. Because not everybody, but a big bunch of them feel because they are in the message, they have Christ in them. They have the Holy Spirit in them. That is fake. It was not so from the beginning. And it shall not be so at the end. So that's the depth of God, right? And he continues, and his mind is illuminated. Little. By the wisdom and knowledge of God through the word but the depth of Satan will be in that he will attempt to destroy this trying to fight there 
So there are deaths here. And we know light and darkness cannot go out together. And we know where God is. Where God is, the devil will fight that vessel or that group. So this church, the first church, they had that depth. Okay, this one will be fighting it to make a substitute. So this is the reality of God. We want the reality. And um, just trying to skip a few things and redeem some time. The born again experience will be rejected in favor of church joining. The depths of Satan has been entered into in that age and the fruit of that depth of Satan which are lies, murders, and horrible crimes came forth from it. You find lies, murders, and horrible crimes. I like this one from Ephesians church 8. It says, God tells them to remember. Evidently, something had left their minds. Amen. They had forgotten something. He told them to turn back in their minds to their point of origin. The origin of the first age was Pentecost. They had fallen from it. They had forgotten the glory and the wonder of it. It was time to go back in mind. And then in reality. Back to when they could say, for me to live is Christ. Back to the purity. When Ananias and Sapphira were dealt with. Back to the gate, beautiful. Yes, imagine how it's going now. They had forgotten that in their minds. And he says they must get back there. God is reminding them, get back there. Get back there. With all the nonsense they're saying, oh, the Nazis is Pentecostal. Like I remember in some place, maybe I'm justified of that. But I can do it a million times more. <laughs> eh? Somebody, a preacher, sees me moving about. I'm a visitor and I'm being taken to this person in hospital. And uh, there's another sick person at this house. And I've got a bottle of oil, anointing oil, in my pocket. And I anoint them and pray, pray for them. And the Lord sets them free. And that person waits until I'm away. Sends an email to me. Eh? We, 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 we were blessed the, the presence and how you, you are fat, uh, emphatic on the spiritual what, what and so forth. 
However, for this little problem, we have this little problem. You were moving as we just uh, following James chapter 5. We use anointing oil for the members of the church because it says, Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing with oil. But you, never you have been. You were still taking the bottle of praying even for the unbelievers. Could you help us tell us uh, where Brother Barnum did this? I asked another uh, preacher and he told me, no, I've only heard those among the Pentecostals. That's how vicious they can sound. So please tell us where we are going to do this. And I started from the Bible. I appreciated that minister for at least giving me a chance to explain. I still do. That's why I'm not mentioning names. I respect somebody who is forthright like that. She said, look, it's... It, this anointing of oil started in the Bible. Those disciples that Jesus Christ sent. Yes. Amen. You are going to have already have read those scriptures several times with you. Just check where the Lord Jesus was sending them. They went about. The Bible says they were anointing people with oil. And I said, those people were not believers. Amen. Right? And I, I gave him a quote where Brother Manam is speaking about the Holy Spirit leading him. To a group of dunkards. I don't know what group that is, but he called them dunkards, like drunkards, but remove the R, dunkards. And he even says, can you imagine, not even believers. And he went among them. And he says, I had oil, as, as I usually do, I had oil in my pocket. And I said, that's not all. Yes. What about the servant of the Lord? That was riding on a horse. Yes. And then the horse triples and falls. And breaks its leg. And he comes off the horse. As I, as I takes the oil from his pocket. And anoints the horse. And prays for the horse. And the horse is healed. And he rides on it and continues. And I said, I wonder what would be said in the message world. If God raised one like that, Lisa, who would be anointing horses then? Probably cats and dogs. Yeah. Probably chicken. Probably, I don't know. I, of course I didn't reach that, but I'm just giving you the, the picture. Yeah. What would be saying? Oh, he has left with the message. But I want you to mark this. A preacher of the message carelessly says, He asked the brother, uh, we saw our uh, uh, precious brother there, he was anointing people who are not believers. What do you say? Ah, no, 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 no. 
that I only heard it in the, among the Pentecostals. Such recklessness. You wonder where such a preacher is standing. And I am duty bound as a servant of the Lord. Vindicated. Back to there. Back to the faith of our fathers. So they started with the depth. Christ came into them. He was dwelling in them. Until they could say, For me to live is Christ. Alright? And when Christ came into them, we know that the Lord Jesus Christ did a lot of works through them. As he had assured them, don't fear, don't worry, believe. And in that belief, the works that I do, shall you do also. In other words, these things that you have seen me do, they will continue among those that actually believe me. Right? Some of the works, starting from Acts 3, Acts 2, the Holy Ghost falls, Acts 3, you hear of the first miracle, first Pentecost miracle, that was at Gate Beautiful. Amen. Yes. Amen. And Peter and John, they dealt with that uh, crippled person. And he clung to them even as they went in the temple to pray. And that caused a stir. The priests. And the Sadducees. Sadducees don't believe in the resurrection of the dead, right? Or life after death. They did not believe. So, they didn't like those apostles teaching that Christ has risen. The one you killed has risen again is alive. And the priests, of course, they were, they were jealous. Because everybody was listening to these people. And 5,000 believed. I suppose if you do your arithmetic, on top of the 3,000 that believed on the actual day of Pentecost, he had 5,000 men. So you can add maybe an equal number of women. You don't have just men here. So how would you expect there to just be men? Alright, so God started working in and through those apostles. We know of the shadow of Peter in Acts 5, how they would lay the sick where Peter would pass and the shadow of Peter would fall just 
pass over the sick and they will be healed. Amen. Amen. And um, they dealt with diseases and demons. All right. And um, from the body of Paul, we are taught that they took they took handkerchiefs. Laid them on whoever was possessed, whoever was sick, and they were healed, whatever they were. Amen. Okay. And the list goes on. That's in, in, in the book of Acts 19. Right. And that church. It dealt with, it had discipline, if I may put it that way. Yes. Where the Spirit of the Lord is. Remember how that angel of the Lord said, Beware. He was telling Moses, Beware of him. He will go among you. Beware of him. You remember what he did to Dr. Nabiram and Kora and all their camp? And the many occasions that their carcasses fell because of unbelief, which is sin. They were provoking God. Not believing the supernatural, where God is working, you provoke God. Alright? That is the same God. Who came on the day of Pentecost? And a few days later, we are told of Ananias and Sapphira. That was God putting discipline in that first church. It wasn't a wishy washy church. Where sin was tolerated in the name of love. No, love is not synonymous with sin. No brotherly, brotherly kindness. This is the age of brotherly kindness. Hey. Sin is sin. We take away the spirit of Christ out of there. The good thing of brother kindness. No, no problem. You know, us, we don't chase, we don't. That first church. Look at the one time. Yes. Ananias and Sapphira. Ananias and Sapphira. They, they were filled yes. with a different depth. You heard me reading about. What happens in the depths of Satan? Lies and so forth. Amen. So they were filled with that. And they came in a church. That was filled with the depth of God. I don't know whether that's called uh, love or couples love, whatever you call it, I don't know. Where your husband is a liar and you, because of the wife, you have to lie also. You are not even saved. But where God is, God doesn't say, oh, they are married, so you know you can separate them. God said, fine. 
at the end of you. You have a life to the Holy Ghost. Amen. Right? And that was it. That was the first public sin. Of life. And God dealt with it publicly.
comfortable. Yeah, you know, there they just. He said, you don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. You are a hypocrite. Yeah. You are a buzzard. Under the power of the Holy 
Holy Ghost. If somebody has done something wrong, the Holy Spirit rise, rise up. That is gifts of the Spirit in the church. And it's all oh God. Send us a church like that. Gather human beings for the sake of appearing to be authentic. Oh God, send us a church like that. I'm happy with that. So that church started with these actions. Yes. 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 There was discipline in the church, there was holiness. Yes. There was fear of God in the church. Yes. 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 Amen. You remember Elimas? Elimas. Elimas. He was a sorcerer. Yes. And he tried to withstand Paul. Yes. And Paul. Now Paul. Smote him blind. Yes. I am I am Amen. Of course, it was the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit through Paul. Amen. Show me how much love is there. Amen. Hmm? Amen. That same Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. That told those soldiers, 50 of them, coming from the king, oh man of God, come down. The Wait. king wants to say, I'm a man of God. Yes. Let fire fall from heaven yes. and consume you. Yes. 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 Was that the spirit of God? Yes. If you want to score that, you know, the, the wrath of the, the prophet? No. Then even Peter, it was the wrath of the prophet. Why, why did he have to smite somebody? Paul, why should he smite somebody blind? Where is brotherly love? Why did he just stop correcting him in a brotherly way? Why a lot of eh, 
witch doctor crosses the border into the neighboring country, gets some uh, Nanga or witch doctor charms, yes. and he comes in the message, yes. and he comes and he takes a, a, a tizia or container of water. Amen. And he comes and he tends to be praying and he's blowing dirty air. He's a Giving believers. Eh? They said, no, he even was on his end. I can't find a When he said that his end, he even gets tired like brother, brother. And the next thing you hear, he has got somebody else's wife. Even right now, as I'm speaking, he's grabbed somebody's wife. And he's got a host pastor. The one who was hosting him. Now he's got his wife. Right? Just in the name of. Now, if we do it, we all saw how this. Uh, we also have so and so is with power. They, that is because of the stubborn will. Remember those who went to 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 a crown. Stubborn will. They knew there was God in Israel. But they are stubborn will. Sleeping with their daughters, and what and what? And that's right. Eh? We also have got that no intent. In fact, he so and so is going to he splits his church. <laughs> they, they never learn. But that church, no man, no leader, Simon, Simon could never survive in there. I you have to repent. Elimas, with all his knowledge of scriptures, because he was resisting. Whatever he knew, he walked blind for a season. Yes. 
Yes. Eh? Yes. 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 But if that is all you have, 
Neno hicho mnachakuti hicho kwete tetakwa. And your life isn't compared with the book of Acts. No mimi bila pale ene huku ya mimi moyo wangu. If the Holy Spirit that you profess to have is not making you live as they did in the book of Acts and your life could write another book yes. in other words if your life is not bringing that life they have and your own life could write another book which book has you better take warning if your book if your life cannot write another book of us Especially preachers. Presence of the Lord. 
Let me pass from death unto life. Which one is the one who is the one who is are you resting upon some emotion? Which a relationship did I find you feel a hero? I like this. That's it. Amen. Amen. But let me read it all, then I will comment. Are you resting upon some emotion? Which a relationship did I find you feel a hero? Some psychological effect? Or, or some intellectual speech? Or are you constantly abiding in his presence with the fruits of the Spirit in your life? Amen. Amen. Right? Amen. Now, here, I pause a bit there. Because people, when they see a group that is free and Rejoicing. Those are just emotions. Amen. Those are just emotions. And the proof of the question is are you avoiding just emotions? Or psychological effect? Or some intellectual speech? They don't condemn their intellectual speech. Intellectual is just brain. Amen. Amen. Coming from the brain. It is not inspired. Amen. There is no God backing it. No book of Acts. Amen. Just the book of Revelation. These are the people that will stress on saying what the devil said. That's good. I'm saying what the devil said. But after I've said what the devil said, I was going to the acts. Amen. 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 So, say what the judge said. Okay, fine. How about leave me a sermon? You can say what the judge says and leave a world in life. No, no. The judge didn't con uh, uh, condone. A world in life. They ask me this. They move me west on day. The table is called no sin in the church. They ask me this. They move me west on day. If that table condoned us sin in the church, I would have discarded that table.
Amen. 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 Now the message is the Queen of Sheba. I, you can say, my, my pastor says so. That's true. My Bible says so. That's true. My mother says so. That's true. My church believes it's the Holy Ghost. That's true. But what about you? As an individual. You don't know until you have, you have received it. I think this is the common situation we are in. Did you hear how we started? My pastor said so. My pastor said so. My pastor said so. My pastor said so. I'm just adding that. You can mention anybody. So and so said so. I think you know you are.
Lucifer. The devil is important the Bible. Lucifer is But we are looking at the book of Acts. No, my dear. Is there a difference between acts and words? Is there a difference? I want you to tell me. Amen. Okay. And who says words are that?
Amen. 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 No Amen. complexes here. There are many things you think that they are passing. Amen. Eh? Amen. Amen. Just because it's from America, then. I'm not going to from America. We want the works. Amen. Amen. Works. Money. 
money transfers. Just dumping the books and steps on you and saying, Hopefully, 
you read that you find this thing about the the person talking about that and then you find it yeah. yeah. you know, it's like the 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 about that and then you find it go on let it come the pressure and find it that movie that you get na shimbi mina amen amen why was he repeating that repeating that there's nothing more to say because jesus christ himself was very plain and simple But these people are trying to write another book of revelation no you know they will, they will tell you now we should give up give up prayer that's for you to make the rapture you you know that there's a series a series of sermons you have to to you know understand the pyramid
Then he interpreted in the Bible forms means go into all the world and demonstrate no the power of the word by the Holy Ghost. Yes. And these signs shall follow them that believe. We go to church. We pay our dues. We treat our neighbors right. That is wonderful. But that is what Jesus said. Jesus said, These signs shall follow them. If you believe in my name, they shall cast out devils. Just cast out the devil. Ah. Oh. Yes. That's not what it says. Yes. That's not what Jesus said. Yes. That's not what Brother Branham preached. If you take one of you bring a machine, he demonstrated. He demonstrated the power of the word through or by the Holy Spirit. Somebody is way, way out there. I don't know how many hundreds of kilometers. And he makes a request now. Hello, I don't buy. I don't buy. Right there. I'm a pet. He's healed. Yeah. That is 
the real believer that one. Because of this, he, he goes to church every Sunday, he pays his dues, he treats his neighbors right. So that's just moral yes. acts. At the opinion of the human being, Amen. The Holy Spirit in the man demonstrates the power of the supernatural. What makes him a believer? Amen. So I'm, I'm cutting off the air. Why not just to <laughs> you can see how time is. Maybe you vote. Shall I cut off and finish on Wednesday? No. But then you put to link up with your No. 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 Amen. 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 Church age. Listen to what he said. Amen. 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 Church age. He said, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Amen. Amen. Girls, right? I said, but you ought, you ought to be home helping your mothers with the dishes. You haven't got, it's talking about women preachers, right? You haven't got any business out on the field unless you are filled with the Holy Ghost. Nobody has the right to stand here. Unless they are filled. Otherwise, you have another disconnect. Amen. Filled with the Holy Ghost and preaching the true gospel in the demonstration. Of the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, listen to this. If you are not seeing the results that Jesus said, that you will see. It is because you are not preaching the true gospel. Amen. They don't preach the word. Preach the word. Are you seeing the results? Let's see the acts. If we don't see them, we are not preaching the word. You can come on the birds and string them together. <laughs> yes. You can not just coming and taking showing pictures to see this. If it's quite a piece of the land, you can copy it. Now look carefully. 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 And after sleeping in that bag, come home, come home, home and continue on down to There are a lot of hypocrites that have entered that bag. That's right. Full of demons. I tell you, I would have to pray for that bag before I can even bring it near my body. Not even necessary. Oh. I don't have to. 
to touch blonde in that right for which he was aiming at. No, sir. I don't have to have a knife, you know, this, this is a, a, a made of that original knife. <laughs> this is the, the cloth that we touched. <laughs> wow, what does that give up from Then we start. They kept that brother serpent. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Until their minds. They Go ahead to your pilgrimage. I want to visit the throne of mercy. And I want to see the promises. Okay, so Paul in Thessalonians says our gospel came not unto you in word only. But also in power. And in much assurance, as you know what manner of men we were among you, for your sake. Paul says to the Corinthians, in 2 Corinthians 2, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, For the kingdom of God is not in word but in power. Consistently, this is what the apostles were preaching. To the Romans. He says, through mighty signs and wonders. By the power of the Spirit of God. So that from Jerusalem and around about. Uh, in Erika, no, I have fully preached Christ, sorry, preached the gospel of Christ. Now, I to the Hebrews, which I even said in the God also bearing them witness, both with the signs and the wonders, and with diverse miracles, and with gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to His own will. That is the gospel that these apostles preach. We are talking about the book of Acts. These are the things they were preaching. Eh? Yes. He, uh, Brother Bannon demonstrated 
how those tribes were camping around the ark. Okay? And this is those who are representing the living creatures. Guarding the earth. Amen. And you know what he compares that to? He compares that to the evangelist. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. Yes. Right? Amen. That is Lion. Mark. 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 Luke. Luca. You know, he, maybe I may, I may have mixed them. But he mentions those gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John the Eagle. And he says they were guarding. The book of Acts. Yeah. 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 Second scene. Don't you know how we pattern it out in the church ages? Them beasts sitting there, watching the ark there. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John standing, watching that. And in there is what happened as a result of the writing of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Whatever they wrote, it happened in the book of Acts. That's what the tree put forth, the first branch. And, the, and that is what happened. And if that tree ever put forth another branch, they will write another book of Acts. Listen to this. This is the second seal, right? So, now, today, when we look over our denominational churches, Methodist, Baptist, Presbyterian, Lutheran Church, Church of Christ, so called, and Pentecostals and things, where do we find that? We don't find it. I will admit that the Pentecostals has the closest thing to it there is. They are up here. The Laodicea Church A. They had truth and rejected it. They got lukewarm with it. Yes. And God spilled them out Amen. from his mouth. That's exactly according to the scriptures. Amen. You can't make the scriptures lie. Amen. They are going to be truthful always. The only thing you don't try to line your thoughts. He, he, he corrected himself. Don't try to align the scriptures to your thoughts. Align yourself with the scriptures. And you are running with God. Not us here, according to what? No, no, no. We don't, we don't do that anymore. We, 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 we. Who are you? Align yourself with the scriptures. Amen. Amen. So, Jesus Christ Himself, as a priest, says the works that I do shall you do also. What was he doing? What was Jesus doing? From conference with God. Brother Brown said, Let us turn this morning now to scriptures to the book of Isaiah, the first chapter, Isaiah 1. No, we read from there, right? Now, listen to this. Now, we do not try to say that we make divine healing here a major. I'm punching every which way, you know. Because yeah. this also, some, some people have hidden, ah, oh, you know, don't major. Yeah. In divine healing, we don't major in divine healing. We don't listen to the, the word of the prophet himself. Yeah. 
He says we don't we do not try to say that we we make divine healing here a major because divine healing is a minor. And you can never major on a minor. Amen. Now listen, it is followed immediately with a bat. But we believe that Jesus Christ's ministry, 86% of it, is was divine healing. And in catching the people's attention by divine healing brought the realization that he was God. He said, if you can believe me, to be that, let's believe the works that I do. For if I do not the works of my father, then believe me not. But if I do the works of the father, works, works, works. And you can't believe me, then believe the works. So that was a typical day. If you visited the Lord Jesus, if you visited his church, 86%. In other words, 86% means out of 100. If you went to his church and you stayed in his church for 100 days,
say, well now, if we could only know and be assured,
The people that goes into his body, he's not about Jesus crucified and, and all of By the Spirit, we are, we are all baptized into the body. Are we? Okay. The people that goes into this body here to be his bride will be exactly the same spirit that was upon Christ. Amen. Doing the same things. The same ministry. Amen. The same power. Amen. And it will come together to be word by word.
this tonight likewise. When God's word is preached, yes, yes. then God is obligated to that word. Amen. And if he doesn't manifest himself by that word, yes. you have been
Genesis Joshua 1, verse 12 to 18.
if I just say no, no, what I'm saying? This is a message.
kupiga mambo mazi yaacha imichiko la mtaalamu na hapo na chomo na mti au zile so leo chika kwa wale shikira mashamba kwa na chama kwa pamoja kwa mungu pale pale chika kwa mungu kwa mungu so ni nchi ya kosa kupiga pamoja kwa kila mtu wale wale chika kushuka na wale 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 Thank you.